Good afternoon. Welcome to the vlog. I think Sarah already started morning clips, but I have to show you out the window and I have to grab Sarah. It's snowing. I've missed this. I doubt it's gonna stick because of how warm it's been, but look at that. freaking out. James is asleep, but he has to wake up because he's never seen snow before. I haven't seen snow in years. Ah! <laughs> Alright, James, you boy, you ready to see snow for the first time? Plus, we got DoorDash coming our way. Yeah. I'll put in a clip of me when I ordered it here. Confession. It's afternoon and we haven't gotten out of bed yet. Okay. We are being real over here on the Brookhart Project. When do I ever vlog from bed? I hope. I hope you can hear me. I don't want to wake the baby. Uh, I woke up with a headache today and then I let it snowball into just staying in bed as long as I want. And all of a sudden it's afternoon. So there's that. You can totally see me in my glasses. Okay. So Peter's had a crazy day at work. I feel really guilty because I'm here. Um, I wish I could switch places with him. But I did order some sushi as a little pick-me-up. Um, I feel like food delivery has gotten like more popular in the past couple of years. Like when we lived in Florida, basically. And we never had good options near where we lived. And so it was so strange today. I opened up the app and I was like overwhelmed just by all the options because we live so close to so many different things. Um, so I was scrolling and scrolling, but I settled on sushi. That should be here soon. And hopefully that'll get me to drag myself out of bed. You ready? <laughs> Jesus yeah. boy, seeing snow, checking out that window. I open up the window, crack the window open for Eve. Do you love that? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> You're beautiful. I don't even know what Sarah ordered. We got two orders of pot stickers. Oh, ho, ho. Sushi. Sushi. Yes. And sushi. Sushi on sushi. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. And more slices. Beautiful. Where's this from? Um, Gorilla. Sushi bar. Gorilla Sushi Grill. Thank you, Karen and Kayla, for getting us lunch. Um, say it's so nice, James. <laughs> Such a big kid. I got that classic Zoom life going on. I got my collar shirt, but with my gym shorts on. No regrets. Yeah, look at this deliciousness. It's gonna be gone in four seconds. All right, the work day for me is over. Sarah's uploading the vlog now. Uh, we're gonna go outside real quick because it stopped snowing, but now it's snowing again. And I, it's not supposed to snow long. And I don't know what we're doing tonight. If we're going out, if we're staying in, what we're doing, but I want Eve to experience the snow and I want Jamesy boy. I want you to get out in the snow. Okay. I love you. Okay. I have shorts on and no shoes. <laughs> oh gosh, you mean it's snowing. Do you remember this? You were a little puppy last time. Huh? Yeah, let's put it down. We just have to be so careful of the icy slippage. James, this is snow. Do you love it? Look at it. He's wearing one of our hats. <laughs> Evie started to frolic, so you have to be careful with your leg, honey. You're on the mend. Oh, did that snowflake scare you? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> we might have a Christmas theme night. What? 
That's it. I chew, I, I got a piece of Irish soda I got lodged in my throat like three hours ago. I almost, well, I did choke on it. I was fine then. Now I've been having this like scratched feeling like, like it scratched my throat up. Every time I speak, breathe, move, I'm like, <sighs> it's very obnoxious. And because of that, I'm gonna aggressively, and because we don't have plans tonight, and Sarah just told me that I got issues because I'm like, let's just go to Epcot. Cause it's like the first night we don't have like really defined <laughs> plans. Um, I'm gonna aggressively do some organizing tonight. And the first one with that is this. Could I wait and ask Grant or somebody else to help me? Yes, but I'm going to attempt to bring this couch down the street to our dumpster um, by myself. So let the shenanigans begin. What? I'm right here with the chair trying to like configure it in a way to get out the door. I'm nervous because we had the door off the hinges when we moved this in. Right. So all of a sudden I'm, I'm watching TV because <laughs> I get distracted and it says remote connected and we haven't had this remote in days. In like a week. Our phone. And Peter's like, is the remote in the chair? And so I ripped open the bottom because it's going to dumpster anyway. And it was just sitting in the bottom of this, the inside of this chair. Did you say we made the call? We're just getting rid of it. Yeah, I said I, I was going to lose my mind tonight because it was our only our first night with no plans and then I was going to aggressively organize stuff. Yeah. I got it out. Even by myself, too. I just got to walk it down the street to our dumpster. Here, I got to bring the cushions out, but there it is. It's final resting place for us. As a victory, as an amazing thing that just happened, as a perpetual renter of apartments right now. This is our fifth apartment. Something has occurred that has never occurred before. We just got in the mail this. So, you have the honors. We have our full security deposit back. We've never gotten a full security deposit back. Because we've always had a little puppy. I mean, not to blame her. We because... either didn't have a security deposit or <laughs> right. we had her when she was a puppy and she yeah. was chewing up some carpet. <laughs> Right, because our first two apartments, neither of them actually had to do your apartment. Right. So there was really only one other apartment so it's just that really we cool. didn't get. <laughs> so it's just really cool that we got our entire security deposit back. Hey, we always go in thinking that it'll be okay if we don't. So. Yeah, not that we trash places we live in, but no. it's just like, you never know. Like, they could go in there and be like, well, it costs $200 to get our, the carpet clean before the, the next tenant in. Right. And then they just and deduct it. When it's the carpet is nibbled on. <laughs> Who, me? He says, pay attention to me. <laughs> so under Jamie, is your Jamie kid today? Well, now the other fantastic evening, I'm gonna to put together his tent. It feels like I have not cooked in forever. Um, we have a decent amount of veggies left over from my last grocery haul that definitely need to get cooked. So I'm making kind of a whole bunch of different things tonight for dinner. I have rice and quinoa going for a base. I am starting some Brussels sprouts in the air fryer and then just frying up a bunch of veggies, potentially making them like soy saucy, almost like how I did the, um, like the veggie style Italian beef in the past by using like fennel and garlic. Um, I don't know. I just want to top it with jar and air and then a salad. So welcome back to the vlog, Sarah's little cooking segments. Um, we're definitely going to get back into eating more at home. It's just been a crazy two weeks, so it feels good to be cooking again. Here are the Brussels sprouts. I'm just gonna put some olive oil and salt and pepper on them and cook them up like this. The sauce will come later, which is inspired by Le Cellier and Epcot. So I just added a ton of pepper and soy sauce to the mushrooms and onions. I was gonna put eggplant in there too, but I decided I'm just gonna keep this kind of meaty and like that Italian beef style I was talking about. And I'll use the eggplant for more of like an Italian dish later this week. Now I'm just gonna add some vegetable broth. Mm, just enough to kind of cover, give it a nice gravy. I would have made a roux if I wanted it to be a thick gravy, but this is just more of a a juicy gravy, so let that cook, and then I'll add in some fennel, garlic, and pepper to taste. And then I also, I just, I just finished making just my classic salad 
which is romaine lettuce, tomato, onion. I only had white wine vinegar, usually I use red. Um, olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic, oregano. And then we just got some dill, so I threw some of that in there, Peter loves it. Um, so that's a little different than usual. Um, but the Brussels parts are almost done. I will link the recipe I'm using below. I didn't do the bacon part. Um, I did fry them in the oil in the air fryer first, and then I'm adding like the maple syrup concoction after. Um, that's just kind of how we felt they were made when we ate them at La Cellier. Like they felt, the maple felt very much so like a glaze and not like cooked into it. You know how Brussels sprouts get like overcooked fast? Um, so they're all done and I will show you how everything turned out. Look at this, we got a tent. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Got yeah. some pillows and his junk in it. Do you like your tent that Santa brought? I think it's a yes. Uh, don't know if that's gonna be where it stays or the configuration on the inside, but that's where we're at at the moment. So here is all of the food. I made, I just topped the bowls with this Ditka's Hot Jardinier, Chicago style. I bought from that little fresh shop. Um, it's so good, we could not get this in Florida. Jardinier is one of our favorite things. You run, you go for five mile runs holding couch cushions. You're just Helps dumping your up. balance and endurance. Oh, it's kind of late for you to be going. You've been, and yeah. it's slushy, and I'm gonna try to convince Grant to film up tomorrow morning too. I don't want to get on a bad trend of you guys runs. do like inspire each other to like. I was not gonna like run today. to hold each other accountable. And then Grant so. was like. Hey, are you are we running? And I was like, if we run, it's gonna be like nine ten ten. Like, it's no if. When are we running? And I was like, well, I'm gonna trip him up and say the later time to see if he's like, nah, I gotta go to bed. So I was like, earliest is gonna be ten p.m. But you guys know me. I'll go for a real late run. And I thought I'd I like, I call this bluff. So it's, or maybe he called call you. He called my bluff. Yeah. He's like, yeah, okay, ten o'clock. All righty, enjoy. Bye. 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 Love you. Love you. <sighs> I'm gonna pick up Grant. It's colder than I felt, than I thought. And more sludge in the ground than I thought too. I don't have like ice shoes, but Sarah and I were just talking right before I left how um, I'm gonna go get some, at least one pair of new like everyday trainers and some new socks and probably some cold weather, even though we're definitely in the end game of winter here in Chicago, but they can throw you a curveball. You can have the 30s for another couple weeks, so. I think I hear Grant. Are you enjoying watching Hercules? You are? Oh, goodness. You are so sweet. Oh. Everybody make sure you check your phone before you get too close to home on a run. Because your sibling, spouse, or friend might ask you to bring home a sweet treat when you're right by your home. And then you have to go back out of your way. You don't have to. You should go back out of your way to go back to pick up said sweet treat. But only if the 7-Eleven takes Apple Pay because I don't have any cards on me. Here we go. This is where it's at. All of... Uh... The ice cream. Yeah! 
We got Red Bulls. We got Kit Kats. We got ice cream. Let's go. I will say the biggest downside to doing that was I'm all sweaty in these, my, my short running shorts. We're now walking with this bag from 7-Eleven home. It's gotten very chilly. Oh my goodness, look at these sweet treats Peter brought home. Two things of ice cream, maybe for tonight. Red Bulls for tomorrow. And I already ate half of that king size Kit Kat. I'm gonna see if she'll stay. But I came out to the most adorable situation. Oh gosh, does somebody love the tent? Alrighty, the daily message. Everything is energy and that's all there is to it. Match the frequency of the reality you want and you cannot help but get that reality. It can be no other way. This is not philosophy, this is physics. Albert Einstein. Hey Sarah. Yeah. What did you do, at least mentally, from 6.15 p.m. until it's now 12, 10 in the morning? Trying to figure out where everything is going in our apartment, like, no, no, no. Furniture. No, no, no. You won't even try to figure Artwork. out where our stuff is going. You were trying to figure out stuff that we haven't even purchased is going to go. Well. I appreciate it, but yeah. I told Sarah like five minutes ago, it's like, I just hope that when we go to bed, your brain can shut off. Because I feel like the past six hours has been like five plus three plus <laughs> this wall and this clashes and this. Is it, but I'm if we do this, if we don't, that. Thank you. You're welcome. And I mean, once we get all those things in together, like. Rocking and roll. Yeah, we'll feel so much more at peace. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. I came out here to put my headphones on the charger and to see where Eve was. And look where this little girl laid down. Part of me wants to just let her sleep there tonight. <laughs> We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.